what's the deadliest creature on Earth? Maybe sharks, crocodiles, snakes come to mind. Well, deaths from those creatures pale in comparison to mosquitoes. Globally, mosquitoes kill more than 700,000 people a year. Researchers are now testing a vaccine that will protect people against one of the mosquito-borne diseases, the Zika virus. Jump step. Summer is just around the corner, a time for playgrounds, beaches, and mosquitoes. There's a lot of mosquitoes out there and they carry a lot of diseases. They, they're nasty pests. Dr. Sarah George is one of several doctors chasing a vaccine for the Zika virus. Two years ago, an outbreak caused severe birth defects in thousands of babies across Central and South America. Something called microcephaly, where the brain never develops properly and the skull actually collapses. There's not enough brain tissue to hold it up. An effective vaccine could prevent that. Dr. George is testing one, a two dose shot that contains an inactivated form of the virus. In the study, more than 90% of volunteers showed an immune response to Zika. Pregnancy is usually a wonderful thing. Nobody wants to be told, I'm sorry, there's something seriously wrong with your baby. Everyone wants to be protected against that. And if a vaccine can do that, that's wonderful. Rachel Bradshaw, a prenatal genetic counselor who works with families at a risk for having babies with birth defects, did not hesitate to volunteer for the study. It seemed like something I could do to help out if we could find a way to uh, protect babies in the future. The vaccine is injected into the arm again. It's really no different than getting a flu shot. While Zika cases have dropped dramatically since that first outbreak, a vaccine could keep pregnant women and babies safe against future threats. We will have another Zika outbreak. We just don't know when or where. In 2016, there were more than 5,000 Zika cases in the U.S. Most were among people returning from affected countries, but more than 200 cases came from mosquitoes in Florida and in Texas. This year, more than a dozen cases have already been reported in the U.S. It's important to note, though, that the virus can be transmitted by sexual contact as well, not just from mosquitoes.